Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy. Four nerds, by nerds, hang out with these nerds. Nate the Nerdark. Nerdark is Ted. And we just got totally annihilated with, with the prospect of a new player race coming with Tomb of Annihilation. Jump down to the description below where you can sign up for Nerdarchy the newsletter, get weekly gaming tips, as well as learn how to game with Nerdarchy. So, just yesterday for us, for when this video drops, it'll be several days, but uh, the adventure, there's been an Adventure League announcement for Season 7, Tomb of Annihilation. You know, basically, whenever they do, whenever they do the seasons for Adventure League, they try and tie it into whatever is going on for product releases. Right. And in this case, we have Tomb of Annihilation coming up. We also have Xanathar's Guide coming up as well. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we don't actually, so we, we, can, we can only assume that it's going to be Tomb of Annihilation, but... There was something very interesting in that release from Wizards of the Coast, and we'll put a we'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check it out for yourselves. Whether it's whether you want to follow along with what we're looking at, or you know, or you just want to go over there and check everything out, it'll the link will be there. So, so in that in that link, there's downloadable character sheets uh, called surrogates if you want to use a, a ready made character instead of your own adventure league guy. And there was one of them that kind of stands out amongst all the others. So I looked through Surrogates 1, and when I got down to the rogue, it's like, oh, here's a rogue criminal. Doesn't seem anything out of the ordinary. Chaotic neutral. Well, that's going to be a bit challenging to play. But the race says a green grung. So we have this character sheet for this green grung. And, and and we decided we would start trying to decipher. And they tried to make it tricky, too, because <laughs> they did not use the standard array. They didn't. So, uh, like, you know, the, the stats on the character sheet, 11, 16, 14, 12, 12, 12, and they're level 3, so there's no stat bumps that could be bought, so we don't have to worry about, well, did they get a feat or a stat bump? What feat did they have? But we had to dissect it, and we pulled out the books. <laughs> oh, <And> the books. <laughs> you see? We got so, Apollo's Guide, and we got... Um, player's Handbook. And the Player's Handbook. So, it's a criminal. So, we know when we look at skills... The, the criminal gets deception and stealth. It does. So we see deception and stealth. All right. So we know that we can remove those from the investigation. And then when we start going more into skills, if we want to figure out that aspect first, they have five skills and Rogue gets four. So mm. we know as a grung, you're going to get a skill. We do. So as we chop and, and pick away at these things... You know, we can look at the actual Grung page on Volo's Guide, page 156, and they get Athletics, Perception, Stealth, Survival. Well, we chuck Stealth, or we, we chuck Survival because there's, no, the there's, no, there's no, no on the character sheet. I chuck Stealth because they get it from the uh, from their, their background. Well, that, that leaves, you know, a couple extras. Now, Acrobatics, Athletics... Investigation, perception, and sleight of hand are all on the rogues list. But we only have athletics, perception, and stealth to really look at because that's what the grungs listed is getting. So I think we settled on that they get athletics. It's probably athletics. And let's face it, grung are like frogs. Frogs jump. Jump is part of athletics. So it's probably athletics. It's going to be athletics or perception, but athletics seems safe. Yeah, and in the wild, they've got a kind of uh, strength. So I'm thinking that you know that's kind of the counterbalance, the idea that they can jump still. So they should have athletics to kind of overcome that. And uh, so we also figured out the stats, right? So as, as I had said, there was the, the breakdown of 11, 16, 14, 12, 12, 12, if you go with the standard order, and that doesn't fit the standard array, but it does fit a point by... If they happen to buy 11, 14, 13, 12, 12, 12, that fits exactly 27 points. That would leaving them leave them getting a plus two to dex and a plus one to constitution. Okay. So we've got their stats. We think we have their skill. What abilities do they get for being a grung? Well, here they have on the sheet additional features and traits. Speed. You have a climb speed of 25 feet. Their actual speed is listed as 25. So it looks like... They have the lower speed, but they also have a climb speed. Pretty sweet if you ask me. They're amphibious. You can breathe air and water. 
Well, they're not certainly not getting either of those abilities from Rogue, so these are probably down to race traits. Poison immunity, you're immune to poison damage and the poison condition. Pretty sweet for a Rogue, especially when they become an assassin and they get their poisoner's kit. They don't have to worry about poisoning themselves. Doesn't matter how bad you roll. <laughs> Uh, poisonous skin. Any creature that grapples you or otherwise comes in direct contact with your skin must succeed on a DC-12 constitution saving throw or become poisoned for one minute. A poisoned creature no longer in direct contact with you can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns and any effect on itself on its success. Forget that, about Poisoner's Kit. They are a Poisoner's Kit. And that lines up with their, their ability in the Monster's Manual. Well, in the Volo's Guide. You can also apply this poison to any piercing weapon as part of an attack with that weapon, though when you hit, hit the poison reacts differently. The target must succeed on DC-12 constitution saving throw or take 2d4 poison damage. No additional effects apply. Nice. So they have a constant supply of poison. They are a constant supply of poison. <laughs> Standing leap, your long jump is up to 25 feet and your high jump is up to 15 feet with or without a running start. But they do have a drawback. No, say it ain't so, Nordic is dead. Water dependency. If you fail to immerse yourself in water for at least one hour during a day, you suffer one level of exhaustion at the end of that day. You can only recover from this exhaustion through magic or by immersing yourself in water for at least one hour. That part is a little tricky depending on where you are. You definitely don't want to go in, a in the desert as the Gronk. <laughs> so we kind of know what they get. So it doesn't seem like they're going to have any special vision powers like dark vision or low light vision. That's not on there. You know, we get, we get an idea of what their traits are going to be, their skills are going to be. Literally, I would say as a GM, I could put this right in my game right now. And it's virtually, you know, practically official content. Well, I mean, if this character sheet is Adventure League acceptable, then I would say that it's completely official. I mean, the, the worst case scenario is we're giving them the wrong skill. <laughs> that, that, is the, that is the worst and part. And the only choice is between athletics and perception, so... Yeah. Eh. Elves already get perception. It's got to be athletics. And they're I, jumping. Well, I would say since they don't... I would say further when you were saying they don't have any special vision abilities. So they don't have low light, they don't have dark or anything like that, so... Low light doesn't exist. Yeah, I was just thinking that. As I said, I was like, dark... We were doing all this stuff from a previous time. So, uh, yeah, they don't have dark vision, so they don't have any special vision skills, so why, why would they have perception? That's my idea. So now the only question is, is this... Is this race going to appear in Xander's Guide, or is it going to appear in Tomb of Annihilation? I imagine it's going to be Tomb of Annihilation. This is all with that stuff, which is cool if they're going to put some player options in there that we can delve into. And hopefully there will be more. Hopefully this is a, just a teaser of what, what's to come. Well, when you actually start looking through the other character sheets, there's Chulti and Thayan under Human, as well as there was a Bariti Goblin, and an albino dwarf. Now those could just be flavor, flavor, or they could all be something. Right. But the grung, that was definitely something new to look at because we already have some kind of goblin, we already have dwarves, we already have humans. The grung was the most exciting to me. Maybe backgrounds. Yeah, you know, they could possibly be backgrounds that are going to be in introduced in the Tome of Annihilation as well. We, we just don't know, but we're getting some teasers. Uh, it was Ronan Greg on t uh, Twitter that actually pointed this out to us. Thank you. Uh, he's always like right on point with if some Wizards does something new, he always knows <laughs> and, and uh, tweets it at us. So we greatly appreciate that. So <clears throat> we'll also put a link to the Tomb of Annihilation so you can pre-order your copy in the description below. So the question is, what do you think? Do you want to have grungs in your game or not? We have a place where you guys can talk about that. That's the comments. Why are you at it? Like, share, and subscribe. You can patronize us in a good way over on Patreon. Or you can follow us on Instagram. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.